In the words of Tupac Shakur, all eyes on me, the HTC U11 eyes, unboxing right now. It's time for the big reveal, but before we open the box, let's have a quick tour around the actual box itself and give you a little bit of the background of the device. I'm gonna show you all the bands this phone is compatible with, so pause the video, have a look at them, and you'll know if it will work on your network or not. Taking a look at the back of the box, we can clearly see it's got 64 gigabytes of built-in storage. Oh, and it's got a Snapdragon 652. That is disappointing. I think HTC should have gone with the 660 because the 652 is a couple of years old. Anyway, let's move past that. Six inch full HD plus screen, four gigabytes of RAM, can take a micro SD card up to two terabytes. It's got a 12 megapixel F 1.7 rear shooter. It's got dual front cameras, both at five megapixels with HDR boost, whatever that is. Face unlock, now that's unusual and I'm looking to test that out. Real-time bokeh mode, IP67 water and dust resistance, edge sense, HTC USonic with active noise cancellation, high-res audio, a fingerprint sensor, a 3930 milliamp hour battery, same as the U11 Plus, which is fantastic, I love that. It's got Qualcomm's Quick Charge 3.0, and I'm just gonna show you the bottom of the box now so you can see what bands this is compatible with. So you will know if it works on your network or not. Pause the video at this stage and check it out. The box is classic HTC, white, very squared off with rounded corners. And on top, as always, the phone is presented by itself. Looks beautiful, but we'll put it to one side and come back to it. Underneath, you've got a clear, hard plastic clip-on shell, like the U11 and the U11 Plus. Underneath that, you've got the HTC gray microfiber cloth, the usual books, which you're not gonna look at. You've got the silicone ear tips of different sizes. You've got the HTC USonic Type-C headphones, always sound fantastic. You've got the USB Type-C charging cable, and the quick charger as well. One thing I'm a little bit disappointed about, and I know this is a budget handset, there is no dongle included in the box, and there's no headphone jack in the on the phone itself, which is a little bit disappointing. Now let's have a quick look around the actual device itself. On the top, you've got the SIM card and micro SD card tray and a microphone. On the right, you've got your rocker buttons with a nice textured power button. On the bottom, you've got your speaker, USB-C charging port and microphone. On the left, you have nothing. On the back, you've got a nice dual flash and a lovely camera with a gold rim around it, which looks beautiful against this solar red. Look at the build quality of this device. It looks fantastic. It doesn't look like a budget phone. It actually feels and looks like one of the flagships. On the front though, you've got the earpiece and you've got the actual dual cameras, which I look forward to testing more thoroughly. Talking about the actual cameras, here are some sample shots I took real quick. Have a look at them and I'll be right back and leave a comment below what you think of the quality of those pictures. <laughs> So what did you think? You notice any difference to any other camera out there? But it's interesting nonetheless. Another feature that I'm really looking forward to is the face unlock. Very easy to set up as you can see here. 
it doesn't take that long to do and it works pretty well in my first impressions but give me time to get more used to it try it out in more tricky situations and I'll do a test to see how well it actually works in different scenarios i.e low light out in the sun complete darkness and so on and we'll try and trick it as well I'll do a separate video for that let's run through the menus real quick nothing to write home about here usual HTC stuff another thing worth mentioning here it's only got a single bottom firing speaker there is no speaker to speak of in the top of the device itself which is unfortunate now if I compare it to the U11 plus they both look virtually identical in size thickness and so on what do you guys think have a look at these shots here to me I can hardly tell a difference and I was talking to someone else which is interesting about the U11 eyes and he joked is that a budget U11 plus and to be honest my answer to that is absolutely because it, it looks virtually identical but it has got some intriguing features like I've just mentioned the face unlock the dual front cameras the bokeh effect which are not present on the U11 plus which is a bit of a strange decision I would like to see HTC make a device that has every bell and whistle built into it especially a flagship but let me give let me have some time with the, the phone I'll do some more intensive checks on it I'll check out the battery the cameras the screen quality how smooth it is the performance as I usually do and I'll do a side-by-side -side comparison against other budget devices I might even do it against the U11 plus itself that's a good point let me know in the comments down below which phones do you want me to compare the U11 eyes to that's an interesting one if I have that device I'll do a straight up comparison of my usual style but anyway that's enough for now this is a, just an unboxing it is a first impressions video and I have to say first impressions are very positive I have a few minor gripes which I already mentioned but for the price the build quality is fantastic I have no complaints there this is your boy Techzilla saying thank you for watching take care Remember to hit that subscribe button and notification bell icon and share this video on all your social media because it helps me out and it'll help other people out there who are interested in buying this phone. Until next time, this is Techzilla. Take care. Peace.